Okay, another topical video for today. So I was thinking about this a little bit, and I was like, man, since the rumors seem to be true of Earthspark being cancelled after Season 2, where does the Transformers franchise go after Earthspark in terms of the cartoons, shows, etc.? What does Hasbro want to do considering Earthspark seemingly did not sell well at all there really wasn't a lot of people watching it it seems like uh you know i've been thinking about this and i for one think that they need to get a bit more of a unique story introduce some new characters into the mix i'm not saying like totally make up brand new characters i mean they did that a lot in earthspark and it still didn't sell well i'm just saying bring in pre-existing characters that we don't see a lot in recent media i'm talking the likes of jazz hotshot uh freaking tank or i don't know striker whoever just interesting characters but also characters that haven't seen enough spotlight in the last 10 15 20 years that's all i'm saying and also to further extend what hasbro could do for a future transformers cartoon after earth spark to get more people to watch it and actually like it and be interested uh maybe change the animation style the same it's been the same animation style give or take you know some tweaks here and there pretty much since prime i mean i do know that th it's variations of the cg animation i know that there are slight differences in the style in the styles of the animation but it's still basically just cg animation you know i really do think they should either go back to 2d animation or go back to the anime stylization that we saw during Animated, and I guess to an extent Unicron Trilogy, but that's kind of outdated. More so in line with what we saw with Animated, with that whole anime style. That would be really nice and a very cool change of pace for what we've been getting with the animation style the past 10, 12 years now, which is freaking insane probably like well, it's been since 2010 prime dropped so 14 years basically of this of the same cg animation style just slightly tweaked after each show comes out that's kind of ridiculous guys like hasbro has so much resources disposed for them that they could do a lot of cool and interesting things with these Transformers characters and stories and cartoons and it just seems like the same old regurgitated crap the past 10 years since Prime ended. I do not think RAD 2015 was all that great. I thought Cyberverse was okay. I think the world building was probably the best part about that show, but other than that, that's about it. I mean, 12 minute episodes, what kind of character development and fleshed out stories are you gonna tell with 12 minute episodes, you know? And Earthspark, I think that's also an okay show. Nothing, you know, that blows me away, but it's okay, it gets the job done, which is why you you see it being canceled which is the rumor right now after season two and i think we need to go from just having an okay show that passes the bill passes you know that that's good enough as a toy commercial basically and we just need something that has a good story a nice selection of characters and change up the animation style at least something different like i don't know i, I mean I, I brought up 2d animation and the anime style i don't even know if that would help because i i just it's just weird you, you know with cartoon audiences these days and how kids are you just never know but i do i do really feel like the 2d animation would be the way to go for the next cartoon especially since again we've had the same cg for the last 14 years basically and in terms of the story i feel like we gotta go back to something like the maximals and predacons or introduce a whole new faction or focus on a totally different faction that we've never gotten a fully fledged story or car or a cartoon on before like i don't know maybe they want to do something with combiners or they want to do something with 
um, I, I don't know, Velocitron or Gigantion, whatever, whatever subspecies of Transformers or factions, it would, it would just be something interesting and new and a breath of fresh air for the franchise and for these cartoons and stories to introduce something along those lines. I don't know. There's a lot to pick from. It's a lot to remember. In terms of the actual storyline and not just factions and characters, um, I don't know, maybe take something off Earth. I mean, I know they kind of did that during Cyberverse, but maybe just continue that because it seems like a lot of people and kids actually liked that aspect of Cyberverse. We, re- we got a lot more grounded in human level with Earthspark, which I don't know, I really do think that kind of deflated the, the hype with this show after, especially after coming off of Cyberverse, which is mostly off Earth, especially as the seasons went on, and especially without you know a lot of human presence either, and going straight to Earth Spark, where it's heavily based on Earth and with humans in it. I don't know. I don't. I don't think that was a good you know uh, change there from cartoon to cartoon. So I think something off world again. Maybe, I don't know, maybe in in Earth, a dystopian Earth where humans are extinct and the Decepticons won and the Autobots are fighting to get back Earth and maybe they're working with a few number of humans and military that's left on the planet. I don't know, just something interesting and maybe put a sci-fi spin to it. I really do feel like Hasbro hasn't leaned in to the whole sci-fi aspect of Transformers enough in recent years with the cartoons. They did that a lot during the 2000s and the late 90s, but nowadays it's, it's basically just grounded on Earth, unless if you're talking about Cyberverse and certain parts of Prime. But that's about it. Um, So I really do feel like a story along those lines or maybe something else that I'm just not thinking of in this video would really suit best for a cartoon after the failure of Earthspark. But you you guys let me know down below what do y'all think about this. What storyline do you think would be best for a cartoon after Earthspark to really get people back and to get people to actually watch a Transformers cartoon again. All my social medias are linked down below. My email is also linked down below if y'all want to hit me up about business inquiries or if you want to message me about whatever or if you want to subscribe to my new Patreon link down below. It's got tons of exclusive content that you won't see here on YouTube or anywhere else such as exclusive stop motions, Transformers photography. You guys get one week access before everybody else here on YouTube to my stop motion films. You guys get exclusive music and music snippets from my stop motion films, Discord access, behind the scenes of projects I'm working on, such as dioramas, videos, photography, and stop motions. So if you guys want to help support me and help support the channel, I would greatly appreciate it. But yeah, guys, thank you for watching this video. I'll catch y'all in the next one. Bye!